Hey everybody, uh, Reptile over here, I am back, um, a little update, I haven't done a video in a very long time, I, uh, recently, just within the last couple of months, uh, for those of you that know I lived in Georgia, I just recently moved back to my home state, here in Pennsylvania, and, uh, I know my channel has it been off to a good start? <laughs> um, but I've been trying, I've been wanting to make my channel a lot better, try to get more content, uh, and try and get more viewers. I know my channel ain't much at the moment, but I'm gonna try getting it better, uh, upload more. Um, so anyway, this is just a little update. This is my new project so far to my collection uh, as you can see the veiled chameleon hold on here let me just open the cage he's in shed right now guys so might be a little grumpy but he's about pushing almost 10 inches in length uh, I got him from a uh, company some of you might know him some of you might not underground reptiles uh, Florida are from uh, They're really really good people very nice people very uh, Helpful uh, over the phone you can uh, If you need you can call them in order over the phone or you can do their uh, go on their website Their website is just undergroundreptiles.com Very good people Christian company well, the owner I know is a Christian anyway. Um, just really good people. I got him, and he was really great tempered. Very uh, good health. Still in really good health. He's doing great. I got his about four or five inches when I got him. But go and check them out. They're really great people. Really good prices. Um, I'm probably going to be ordering them from them, uh, in the future. Not sure what yet, or when, but I'll probably make a video on that too. And one of my last videos, a while back, I said about possibly going to Repticon. Yeah, I'm sorry that didn't happen. <laughs> um, but here's just his cage. His cage isn't the best but I am in the process of building a custom cage for him you got, got tons of live plants in here some of them I don't remember the names of them but I researched them and I know that they're non-toxic which is always good uh, I got tons of uh, I don't know if you can make that out but tons of lucky bamboo he loves bamboo he's always in he goes inside and climbs right on the bamboo. Um, and then I got him a, a Reptifogger. Yes, yeah, you can see that. Uh, that bubbling noise, I just have a hot little uh, thing with water. Uh, he also drinks the water bubbles. Do not, all, do not just have that just for a water source. Always mist two, two to three times a day your cage or have a water a different water system I'm in the process of getting a dripper uh, but he's been doing great with uh, the, uh, the water bubbles and misting he drinks the water bubbles so shoot him with his tongue I wish I had a video of it but and then he'll also drink the droplets off the leaves uh, so this is just a little update on what's been going on um, and I am going to, I know I said before about doing some knife videos. Uh, I'm going to try getting some made and uploaded this week if possible. Um, so yeah, just keep subscribing. And uh, I'll talk to you later.